Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about application migration. So what is application migration and how various cloud vendors define their application migration? So let's explore the cloud vendors, I mean the cloud platforms like Microsoft Azure, AWS, VMware, and IBM Cloud, how they define their own application migration. Now let's start with Microsoft Azure. So if you look at Microsoft Azure today, so it says about, hey, .NET application migration. How you will do that, right? So it says that you can migrate your .NET application with Azure App Service and Azure SQL Database, right? So it's gonna be a, a two-tier application structure, like you have a code and you have a backend database, right? So this is their strategy. So what exactly they're trying to explain to you? They're saying that you can reduce your spend, increase efficiency, and improve agility, right? So their components are Azure App Service, Azure SQL Database, right? And you can also, there are other things like, you know, you can download the benefits of migrating your ASP.NET apps to cloud, how to achieve your scalability, optimize costs, you know, and increase your operational efficiencies and all that. So quickly go to the, uh, let, let's go to the, um, the features. Uh, I think it's better to go to the documentation clearly. All right, so this is what it is. Hmm. Now, so it's saying that, you know, you should have understanding of how your application works before you plan your application migration, okay? Um, all right, so now go to the documentation and try it. Application, let's see. application magnetization tree all right so this is what let's let's quickly so Microsoft provides you a lot of tools so that you can take a decision okay so one is look at if you have a, an application from a line of business right it's an entire application it can be two tire three tire so you, what you're trying to do here is you're trying to modernize your application right so the application is running in a dedicated VM right and uh, so if it is running a dedicated VM, then what you can do is, um, you know, you can modernize data, or you can modernize the complete whole platform. So if you have a dedicated VM with the DevOps already integrated, right, then you can directly refactor those into Azure App Service, right? And if you don't have an existing pipeline with, you know, DevOps pipeline, let's say, so then you can use application service migration tool with Azure Migrate database migration only. And if you don't have, let's say, a DevOps, then it says you can directly use Azure Migrate server migration to either to go to Azure IaaS or Azure Pass. So you should ask your application owners few few key few key in you know, a questions like why you want to modernize your application, right? Because there are a lot of time, energy, and budget investment is there. So you should have a, a you know a very strategic explanation, right? So, so that's what you need to, these are a few questions like, you know, will your data migration exceed your network bandwidth? And will your application make use of your existing DevOps pipeline? How does your data, uh, and does your data have your, have complex data store requirements? Right, so this is about the cloud migration. And you can also, uh, uh, you know, I recommend you to go through this uh, uh, cloud adoption framework migration model if you want to understand more deep dive, 
right? Because what exactly you want to do? You want to migrate, you want to rehost, refactor, re-architect, or you want to rebuild a new, or you want to replace. So this is what the few core foundational principles that any migration will, will work. So here they described the migration strategy using five arts of, of rationalization. So let's see if you, what is it, right? So rehost. Rehost is reducing capital expense, freeing up data center space. It is like moving as is. And you know, the refactor. Refactor is, is for the, the past. Uh, for example, uh, you know, you want to you want to do um, uh, code portability or greater cloud efficiency uh, dependencies and all that. So you can use a, a, a refactoring. Rearchitecting is completely. You need to you know you're just rewriting your code, mix, adopting new technology and all those things for the application scalability and agility. You're trying to rebuild. So you're trying to accelerate innovation. You're trying to reduce uh, the the operational cost. Uh, you're trying to bring new uh, business processes and all that. You're trying to, and next thing is the replace is not, you know, replacing with a SaaS platform where there is, you know, there is no, uh, uh, you know, uh, just, you're not trying to host anything. You're just trying to need uh, uh, understand the functionality and, you know, uh, uh, just, just you need to make sure that you have the data migrated. That's it. So this is from the uh, cloud adoption uh, uh, point of view, okay? That was like five hours, right? Now if, if we go to the, now if we go to the um, um, AWS. Now AWS do have a, something called as AWS Application Migration Service, which is one of my favorite, it is called MGN, right? So which is a highly automated lift and shift solution that simplifies and reduces the cost of migrating applications to AWS, right? So if you look at that, if you look at this, you know, um, so this given like getting started, how are you gonna do this? In order to use application migration service, the server must be first initiated by the, you know, your inside your plan and all those things, right? Then you will build up and automatically it will create all these rules. Then you will assess the application migration service console using this, using uh, this. I don't know whether I do have access, but let's try. Okay. So that that's will be your, um, you log in and you will try to assess your application, right? And using the migration, yeah, this is how it's gonna be the console. Once you log in, you'll select the region and you'll select the source servers and you will replication, all these replication settings, configure the source servers. It will automatically start replicating. And if you look at the migration workflow, this is will be, so there will be an AWS replication agent uh, deployed on, on each source server, right? So that's where it, it, it's gonna uh, replicate all your data and everything. So once that is done, once you have replicated, then you will do a launching test. You're gonna create an suite instances and test, and then you know you do a cutout instances. So this is very high level um, about the application migration from on-prem. And uh, because I, I do like the AWS documentation very well, guys, uh, because they give very in detail and all that. And even they give the troubleshooting launch errors, sorry, uh, communication errors, troubleshooting agent issues, replication issues and all that, uh, FAQ, FAQs and all that, right? So this is pretty decent. Um, I, I request you to just go through it once, application, uh, this thing. And if you want to look at this cloud, uh, Application migration framework. The reason why I'm, I'm searching because you can also go do and do the same thing, guys. Okay. So this is what is AWS prescriptive, you know, guidance. Okay. Let's see what is that guidance. So you can look at this uh, the, the way they define. So define how to select and prioritize application for migrations. Understand proven best practices. 
validate your AWS landing zone, like, you know, the run broker or whatever it is. And, you know, what are the expected outcomes out of this, right? See, you need to validate the outlined operating model, right, for deploying, monitoring, reporting, and application running on the AWS cloud. How you will validate your application security, how you will design the target architecture, how to use data migration, server migration, and vendor tools for automated migration. So these are all things um, they will talk about, you, how you will use all these tools and all that. And you have a separate uh, guide, right, you know, uh, with automation, a tool catalog for each and everything, right? So you can also click on the migration tool comparison which gives you a, a proper guidance, right? At, at, you know, you can also use application profiling uh, for to capture and analyze uh, performance data, usage, monitoring dependencies, and all those things. So this is from the AWS point of view. Now let's quickly jump onto the Google migration. So Google Cloud GCP migration, application migration is also gives you a different viewpoint. It talks about performance, scalability, reliability, and security. Uh, that you need to deliver the high quality experience that customers expect in today's uh, digital world, right? So they gave a, a free migration cost assessment. If I click on this, what exactly? It, it, so it says, estimate your cloud migration and modernization cost with a free assessment. This is really a step ahead from both Azure and AWS, right? So click on uh, request. Uh, so let me um, just fill something, guys. can uh, fill something and uh, whatever it is it says um, one month around 100 just fill it and click on a request assessment okay then I think it's asking for my So it says, thank you for requesting your complimentary TCO assessment. A member will get in touch with you, right? So this is about the tools. Now, if I scroll down here, it says, you know, what exactly uh, your migration is about. So migrate workloads to the public cloud. Um, similarly, a few case studies. So, Google uses uh, Stratozone. Okay, it's nothing but their cloud migration program, right? Where it will help uh, the customers uh, to to migrate uh, from on-prem to cloud. So this is called a uh, Google Cloud Rapid Assessment and Migration Program, which is called Ramp R A M P, right? Which you need to uh, contact sales to get a, a detailed information, like you will get a, your login and everything which I will show you how exactly that will work here. Yeah, so this is like this guys, once you, you will receive an email from the Google saying that you can download your application. So you can download the collector, uh, Strato Probe. The Strato uh, is, has been acquired by Google recently, I mean, long back, right? And once that is done, it will say, hey, what is your uh, collector uh, prerequisites? Like how many uh, servers like, it's a 500 or more depending upon that you need to make sure that you have you have a physical or virtual machine um, you can so that you can um, install the, the collector right so so this is what it is it's gonna have you need to uh, do some uh, firewall prerequisites and all that so this like you will install the data collector and you will run the data collector you will fill all these information you create a group and this is what it is it's gonna it's gonna collect all these information from your on-prem environment or from your data center right all dependencies and everything it will collect um, 
So I'm just uh, running, skipping all those things. So that it will generate your assessment report. Right, so that is from the Google, uh, uh, this thing guys. And now if I go to the uh, VMware, so let's understand what is a VMware is talking about. Um, see VMware is talking about, it's just moving your software applications from one computing to an environment to other, which is true, right? It can be from one data center to another, it can be from one public to the private cloud, or one company's on-prem server to the, uh, 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 you know, a cloud um, provides an environment, which is really a good example. So it says a three steps to simplify application migration to cloud. What are three steps? It's saying that you need to assemble the right team. Absolutely, absolutely right. We know your stakeholders that you need to explain them what you're trying to do, what is the uh, end state, what are the business outcomes out of these application migration. And you need to audit your application. As I said, you need to understand their ecosystem, the landscape, their architecture, the dependencies, what are the, uh, how the user, where's the data, how is the integrations and all those things. And the other thing is that you need to, you need to ask these questions like, is what, is this a business app or a technical app? Is this a, a modern or a legacy app? Will refactoring or rewriting be required? What is the downtime required? Where is this app being designed, like in-house or some third party, right? So all these dependencies. Now this says you need to follow the best practices. One is keep the business goals and state objectives very clear to everyone. Start small and minimize risk. Bring in outside experts and third party tool to supplement in-house capabilities, which is really nice. And the other thing is they, they mentioned that common application migration strategies move without conversations like, you know, just like lift and shift, choosing a SaaS replacement, choose a, a pass replacement, re-architect, retire. This is basically like the five hours, which we see in, in Azure, right? Now, what is the application migration process defined uh, by uh, VMware Cloud? So it says plan, test, migrate in waves, follow, which is really a nice strategy at the high level, but you need to understand the in-depth uh, analysis in each and every phase, right? So what does a successful application migration to cloud look like? It says improved and modernized solution for business goals, reduced time allocated for training new employees, wider access to distributed applications, decreased complexity and cost application consolidation, better security and management, increased productivity, extend, extended value of IT investments, which is, these are the specific outcomes from VM cloud point of view, but you can add, you can re-articulate them, you can rephrase them, but these are the uh, few, uh, you know, success, uh, uh, you know, measurable criteria whenever you're doing an application migration. And there are other uh, recommendations here you can look at. You can go through it, but guys. Now we what we what we did it so far. A, a quick recap. You understood what is uh, how Azure is doing their application migration. AWS is doing their application migration. GCP is doing and VMware, and you know, uh, and we also looked at the. Uh, now I want to quickly. Uh, in my next video, we'll be talking about the IBM Cloud, what is their definition of application migration, and Alibaba Cloud, and all those things. And we'll also explore live tools, guys. So I request you to all, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, click on like. And if you're looking for any specific topic, use the comment section below and post it so that I can make a video out of it. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. And stay safe, stay healthy. See you next time.